So guys, you've seen this gun in many videos. You've seen it in a handful of EDC updates. So I figured it's high time that I finally do a review on my Glock 21. And without any further ado guys, as always, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome and fun gun reviews. And, uh, and let's get into this. So guys, like I said, today we are going to be doing a review on my Glock 21. Now to let you guys know, this is definitely not the newest Glock 21 out there on the market. This one is actually a 2004 circa age, so that means it's about a 2.5 gen, like an early gen 3. This is before I started marking them with the generations. So this is a pretty early Glock, it's pretty old, and uh, it still holds up, still does very well, and uh, this is the only handgun I have, so <laughs> unfortunately this is going to be, unless someone wants to send me a handgun or something, this is going to be the only handgun review for quite some time. Anyways, this one was pulled out of its active duty kind of status, so over here here is all the ammo and of course this gun has been safety checked but just so you guys know there is no ammo in this gun whatsoever no magazine in this gun either and because this magazine's loaded it's gonna stay over here so so with that, uh, with that out of the way now let's actually start talking about this handgun in my experience with it so to start off, I've had this gun since 2011, so I've had it for six years. I've carried it intermittently throughout my ownership of it, and I've recently, due to a lot of craziness in the world, been getting back into really carrying this gun honestly every single day, just making it a real daily carry. And of course, with that, I've also been practicing with it quite a bit. And throughout this review, I'm gonna roll in some shooting footage. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. I really love shooting this gun. So, <clears throat> really enjoy shooting this gun. And so I wanted to roll in some shooting footage for you guys to help also break up some of the monotony. So, to start off, for those who don't know, the Glock 21 is the full-sized Glock chambered in 45 ACP. And the primary reason why I chose 45 ACP is it's one handgun caliber that I have a lot of. It's a widely accessible for me personally handgun caliber, unlike 9mm. Secondly, I also like the fact that loaded properly, this can make a pretty good wilderness handgun and it can stop quite a few dangerous animals. And so that is something that I do like about it. In addition to that, I also just generally like the recoil impulse. And this is going to be different for everyone but for the most part i really love the recoil impulse of the 45 acp it's not like a nine mil if you guys have shot nine mils or 45s uh, if you guys have experience with multiple different calibers you'll know that the 45 has a really interesting um, recoil impulse and it's very linear there's quite a bit to it definitely more than say like a nine millimeter but the way it works it's very smooth and the way it delivers recoil so as far as the shooting goes with this handgun uh, it really is very Glock like and for the most part I really do enjoy it of course most of you guys are familiar with it's pretty so most of you guys are probably familiar with it's pretty terrible trigger but do but it does have a very good combat kind of trigger and it's not the best but i do love the reset on this gun it's very positive as you guys can hear here it's a very positive reset and i really do enjoy having that nice reset of course i do shoot to reset as you guys will see so having a really positive reset makes the shooting multiple rounds in a row accurately and just in sync really really nice in addition to this, uh, some of the other things I really do enjoy about this handgun, especially for it being a 45 auto, uh, a lot of people may not fully realize, and a lot of people think about Glocks and 9mm, but never really in 45. But as just a 45 platform, I actually really like the Glock 21 for two primary reasons. And the first being that one, the weight. Because this gun is obviously a polymer lower, it's it only has steel metal upper this gun is actually really lightweight 
and that really translates to a really easily carryable handgun. And so since most 45s are some type of 1911 system, they tend to be really big and heavy. And while this is a full-sized handgun, what I really do enjoy about it is the fact that the polymer lower really reduces the weight. So the other thing I really like about this, and the secondary reason I chose the Glock 21 platform for a 45 ACP handgun is the uh, is the magazine count. For those who don't know, this gun is a double stack 45, so that means that it carries 13 rounds, and I really like having that, and that is nearly double what your average 1911 that holds seven rounds carries, and so. 13 rounds is pretty nice to have if 45 ACP and of course you can always get larger magazines but having a 13 round base magazine is really nice to start off with. So those are the two primary reasons why I ended up choosing a Glock 21 over many other different caliber or many other different 45 ACP semi-autos. Another thing is, of course, like most people know, the value for this type of handgun you get is amazing. And you can get a really high quality handgun for, you know, around $550, around $600 to around $400, you can get really an amazing handgun that is very, very reliable. Once again, this gun here is every bit as reliable as any other Glock out there, but at the same time, but at the same time, it's still just as affordable as every other Glock. So I really enjoy the affordability, reliability. The value equation is very heavy in these guns. Aside from that, I also really enjoy the ergonomics. I am one of those weird guys that actually does like the uh, finger swells here. Personally, for me, my fingers tend to just fit in this, uh, in these hand grooves. And for me, I really enjoy just the overall ergonomics. For me, there this this does not have the replaceable back straps like later models would, but for me, the ergonomics on just the standard Glock feel great. And the only thing I kind of wish this would have is on newer Glocks, they come with back strap or like the back strap is interchangeable and you can get more flared beaver tails. Well, I've never had this handgun personally slide bite me. Uh, I do, I am a large fan of larger beaver tails and I've shot some Gen 4 Glocks uh, especially 19s that had or where the shooters had put a larger beaver tail on the back of it and I really enjoyed having that extra beaver tail there because once again I've never been bit by the slide of this gun but it is really nice to have just that extra beaver tail to know that you're not going to get slide bite. So other than that, this handgun also does have Glock night sights. You guys will be able to see, hopefully, tritium night sights. Hope you guys can see those. And as far as it goes, once again, this is a 2004 handgun. The uh, tritium night sights are still holding up really well. I do enjoy them, though I don't really shoot this gun in the dark. It is a nice thing to have, especially as kind of a defensive thing that if I do ever need to shoot it in the dark, uh, it is very easy and once again, just showing you guys with pointing the gun at myself. <laughs> but hope you guys can see there. Maybe not so much on the front, but hope you guys can see it all. It's just three tritium dots that if it was darker here, uh, they would glow really bright and really positively. So basically you just align these three dots, pull the trigger, and that's where you're gonna hit. So the night sights, like I said, for being over 10 years old, well over 10 years old, they're like around 13 years old now, still glow bright and hold up very well. And overall, this gun has not been shot excessively over the past 13 years, but it has been, it has quite a few rounds through it, so you guys can see that it's still holding up very well, just like you'd expect a Glock to be holding up. So. As for modifications, I really haven't done any modifications to this gun. No custom stippling jobs, no custom enlarged uh, slide stop or enlarged uh, mag release. Just because really, in my opinion, um, it doesn't really need any of it. And like I said, for me, I can easily hit this mag release. I can easily hit the slide release. If I can get it. So I can easily hit the slide release. For me, it's not really that hard to use any of the ergonomics 
uh, or any of the features on this gun. Uh, about the only thing I would really ever be tempted to change on this gun would probably just be, in all honesty, the trigger because it is kind of terrible just as most Glock triggers are. But aside from that, it has really just been a great performer for me and I've really enjoyed having it the past six years and I'm probably going to have it for another six years uh, because it just is really a great platform and once again, over my past years of carrying it, I really haven't found a better system than this yeah, that's more reliable, more affordable, and can, can really compete with the Glock 21 system. There are things like the FN. The FN does have a gun. I forget what it's called, uh, but <clears throat> FN also has a 45 ACP handgun. I think it actually carries 15 rounds, but the gun's really expensive. I think it's over $1,000 or something like that. Someone will probably correct me, but I looked at that system too because it was competing originally for the Army uh, like competition to become the next handgun for America or for the army but it ended up losing and I liked that gun a lot it was pretty cool but still once again it didn't have the value levels that the Glock 21 has and so it's not just strictly about capacity for me due to the fact that obviously I'm not made of money it also has to have a price level factor for me so this handgun probably or not probably it really fulfills the price levels for me it really fulfills the capacity you know it has a good enough capacity 13 rounds is pretty good and once again it has a, a serious durability that you can just beat this gun to death and it just keeps on going keeps on going keeps on going and I really enjoy that about it as well because I have taken this to places that were pretty rugged and it has been beaten up a little bit and it continues to be a very nice performing handgun as far as accuracy goes, it's just as you'd expect it. It's just as accurate within reasonable ranges as you are as a shooter. It can hit right where you're aiming. Um, I can't quite fully attest to the accuracy just for the fact that, like I said, these are not stock Glock sights. In a way they are, these are the Glock uh, Tritium Night sights. So if you have Glock Tritium Night sights, then it's just as accurate as you as far as a shooter goes all the way back to like 25 meters. Um, obviously people have expressed concerns about the barrel in this and the particular rifling and I'm not sure of the accuracy past 25 meters because I don't really shoot handguns past 25 meters because really their effective range is about 0 to 25 meters. So if it's longer than that, I just don't even bother shooting a handgun and I would just go to a rifle. So for me, the accuracy has been just as accurate as me as far as a shooter goes. And once again, I'm not the world's best shooter. So it's not always the most perfect grouping Things, but when I really do hone down on my skills, I can hit exactly where I want to hit, like exactly where I want the bullet to go. So this gun is accurate when you apply your fundamentals and everything. So anyways, guys, the rain is picking up and making this just a really wet mess. So anyways, guys, that's basically all I have to say about the Glock 21. Once again, this is an earlier generation, so I can't go over all the awesome, cool features features of the modern Gen 5, but for a being a Gen like 2.5 or Gen 3, uh, it's a really great gun and it's held up over 10 years, still running strong, and I think it's good for another well over 10 years. And it's definitely going to be on my side for the rest of my life because I really love the Glock 20. Hopefully you've enjoyed that quick look at my Glock 21 and review. That's basically all I have to say on it. And like I said, this is the only handgun I have right now. So if you guys want to see more handgun reviews, uh, I'm not sure how I can do those because I don't have any other handguns to really review. So anyways, guys, anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless. And I'm out.